Alright, what's up Cookie Butts? It is your cat at KDHD Corky Chibi. Today we're gonna be playing some Fran and Bo. Trying to finish the game, more so because of the fact that Coral Island needs an update and I currently do not have enough space to update it. So, Fran Bo, I need you to pop up on the thing, please. Thank you. Alright, yes, okay, so. The warning right now, this game contains disturbing images and scenes of explicit violence, gore, self-harm, sexual harassment, animal cruelty, body horror, mental illness, flashing images, and drug usage. These themes are presented through the creativity, but creative thinking of Fran Bo, a young child who undergoes trauma. The game is sprinkled with fantasy, innocence, and her endless curiosity. However, it may still be distressing to some players. The player's discretion is advised. I will give you guys that warning now, in case you want to leave because of, you know, the listed reasons. Okay, we're going to continue from where we left off, which was this one. Um, okay, so we're finding way back home. And for anyone who has missed the other playthroughs that I have done on this series, you will be able to find those on, on, on my VOD channel, which you'll be able to find in the link there. And the audio on those ones may be, or at least with my voice, may be a little bit funky. For some reason, OBS was not picking up my mic well enough, even though I had it, you know, turned all the way the hell up. But, you know, so, that's a warning. Those videos, they will be a little, my, I will be a little bit quiet, but no, at least now I am fixed. Right. Uh, I think we're just finding our way home now. Nope, no, no, forgot this one. Oh my goodness, this is a street kitty. Hey, street. Oh yeah, hey, street. Yes, it is. John! What's up, bruh? No, wait, yeah, I don't have the meds anymore, so I can't even use that to do anything. Let's see some. Is it this? Okay, yeah, here we go. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. I don't know why I made her British all of a sudden. Aunt Grace, hello. How's your day going, John? We doing good. We going. We doing good. Maybe she's not home. 
wish. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know there is a hidden key somewhere. I need to remember. I just need to remember where. Eh, 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 feeling that. Feeling that. Hmm. Let's find it. It says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran, that's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. Ugh, no key. What's this? A note. Uh, okay. uh, come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key, and it seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Just careful not to overdose on that. You can keep doing it if you want, but be careful. I don't want you, you know, getting any kind of caffeine overdose. Child, at least drink a little bit of water in between. I still want you to drink at least a little, it's just a sip of water. Just a sip. That's all I want. Just to make sure, alright? Yes, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. Writing. I'm trying to do this in an accent. I don't know why I even bothered. Uh, okay, let's see. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb, uh, climb up and open the door for me. Oh my god, hiccups. You're not the only one that has problems with your keyboard. No, yeah, we're working on getting Mel uh, a better water bottle. Because uh, even my water bottle I have, that I have is bigger than hers. I have 67 ounces. Which, actually, speaking of, before you even do the hydrate, I will hydrate myself. Because I actually just remembered that I... Refill it a little bit. Okay, hold on. We're gonna hydrate with some juice first. Okay, hydrate it with juice. Now we're gonna hydrate with what here? If I not hold on. the front's right here. Okay, I'm gonna move the mic a little bit, but you should be able to hear the proof that I'm drinking water. Okay, hydration has been done. Nope, I gotta close the straw. Open the door for me. Ugh, alright then. Wish me luck. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. I'll put your cat so it's easy for you, my guy. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. <gasps> Fran, I can't believe it. You are alive. Where were you? Get away from me! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. 
I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? It's none of your business, my guy. Leave now, please. Ugh, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but now we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why... Wait, where may I ask why you're here? I've come to meet Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's just wait until he opens the door. Friend, I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, friend. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Uh, it shouldn't be. I don't have any auto mod things on. The only thing I think I have auto mod on for is the word fag or in faggot because I am not about having those words in my stream. Forgot how to get to my auto mod thing on here. This channel. Nope, not right there. Uh, okay, let's see. Video producer. Let's pop this out so I can see shit clear. Probably under moderation, honestly. by moderators or lead to timeouts and bans. Health review. Okay, I think I fixed it. Is there someone else in chat you're talking to? Because I don't see anyone. You're meaning a different streamer. Yeah, I've, I've just realized that after the fact. Mm. 
But um, I believe as far as auto modding, it really depends on how they have the auto mod set up. But as far as like actually physically banning things, I'm not too sure on how that fully works. Banning wise, I leave that to my actual mods like Mel and you know my boyfriend. Yeah, that's something she'd have to maybe go to the Twitch, Twitch support Twitter and message them and ask them about it or try and uh, look into it on the actual thing. Brain has struck there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? This feels so wrong. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I was fired. Okay, let's start that sentence over. We're gonna start that over. You know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I don't understand yet. Understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Alright. Family murdered on Hazel Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The, investigati the investigating police officer Marco Holoma said, it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victim, so, so the victims have been caught completely by must have been complete. Uh, uh, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise, and were unable to fight back. The police investigate interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away after finding about her family's murder. Beloved Fran Bo, 12, 17, 1934 to 7, 22, 1944, only 10 years old. Uh, Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Oh, mommy, I recognize your hand. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a variety, a new variant of duty. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin Ecto, I'm just gonna call it Ecto, were too high. That can't be good. Ecto creates a door between the conscious, conscience and the subconscious mind. Con conscious, conscious mind. I'm not English, I promise. It's just hard. The problem is, if the Ecto is too high, the door will be open too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain. I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra reality, sir. And also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be an effect of the duality, nothing more. That's not true. If I had more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your mind, friend. All in my head, you say. 
then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but the father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with knives again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father hurt you with knives, Doctor? What? what? Who told you that? You did. Or well, didn't you, sir? I, I haven't said anything about it. Oh, my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all of this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's a big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. I wish I had stayed any thirster with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Fran, please, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward or Palantris. And my kitty is all alone. No, he's not. He's fine. Palantris? Edward? Please, Fran. Palantris is, a, is the doctor of Etherster. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw a mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum who claimed to see... to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you, you're you misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reaction of the DNA. But nothing happened. A few months later, later they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Oh, that's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that'll lead us to those respon those responsible t uh, for this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. Uh, that statue, I forgot it was in the game, and that's giving me real PTSD with the weeping angels. Uh, but this is the cemetery. This is this the. Oh, 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 oh. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come, follow me. Um, the freaking statues, bro. Right. This is your parents' resting place. And also, yours. Why won't you bring her here? Uh, Alright, uh, Why did you bring me here, son? I'm sorry, friend. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Hold on, I'm gonna take a few bites of food. I got sick. And just in case I'm gonna repeat this line again. <clears throat> I'm sorry, friend. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. 
What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law of punishment. Use, use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And with what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Uh, so you're having this little girl open her dead parents' coffin to try and find proof, bro. You couldn't do it by itself? By yourself? Alright, sir. I'll help. Maybe the Deedly Worms came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Dean, I'll see you soon. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Um. Markiplier says, a crowbar. And then we just bloop, bloop on the door. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Uh, oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, Mr. Pinecomb. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought giants... I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I am Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for a mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you can open the door for me from the inside. I can do that, or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss. But where would I ever find that? Huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. I know exactly where to find it. Oops, I made a big, wait, whoops, what a big hole I made. Oh, hey, we need leather for, for Sebastian over here. Alright, use on 
on Sebastian. No, <laughs> that's cute. <coughs> well, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zolius, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Uh, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio? Okay, bye, Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio! Wait for me! I have the letter! There you are, friend. Uh, look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I have a crowbar in the car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you could do the honors of opening the coffin. You know who that is, right? No, ain't no, wait. Nah, I swear to God, the look yesterday, the old boy was just four. Nah, hey, nah. Man, that's got me feeling old, bro. Nah. Oh, I swear it was just yesterday. Yeah, no, Remember yeah. So Nay! My little nephew, cool. Damn, I'm just waiting for that little. Nah. What, well, you? You, you gotta remember, I ended up watching her place not long ago, not long after, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about, I think he was just at the tail end of being two when I was over there. You dang, that little boy already seven, I swear to God, no! No! Okay, um. Krobers. So, wait, are we... Oh, uh. Okay, wait, what are we doing? Friend, we have no time to lose. Open the coffins. That's what the fuck I'm trying to do! <gasps> Look, really? Oh. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great, but um I see something that is. Oh mother, you're so skinny. Too skinny. But I guess you'd take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Oh my goodness. Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat, they're lying! Also, I'm just fully processing the fact that I still have my freaking YouTube watch later list playing right now. <laughs> the fact that I just got a notification for T-Pain going live. GG's bro. Friend. I told you, your cat was missing. 
and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. You're just gonna leave it open like that, though? Not like, you're not getting ready to close this? We're just getting ready to, like, leave that open? We're just leaving it open. Alright. Remor! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. <laughs> she really just said, fuck you and your shit. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Alright, let's go. Chapter 5, The House of Madness Aunt Grace, is that you? Yep, in the flesh. My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Nope. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? Yeah, we could technically blame Dr. Deer. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame someone else than taking responsibility, isn't it? Were you the one that killed your sister and, and, and brother-in-law? Cause... I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But, Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. After you've just found him. Little, little shining friend. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend. Go to bed, sleep tight, and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty wouldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. 
I hope he's okay. But what should I do now? Okay. Um, it's gonna take a quick set setting. Oh my god. Second to Google how long this game is. Okay, let me do this. How many chapters is in here? Five chapters, so this is the last chapter. Alright. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaster said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or. I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. There's... And the wind that took all the magic dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed, and no, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained up. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I meant to mention, m mentioned I can English, I promise. This means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Hi, Chance. Did you meet Edward already? He's always talking about him. Talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we see. The black ones, the white ones. Do Wait, do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me? Then can you tell me then why? Wait, why we see the things we do? Uh, what if I help you unlock the cups first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can find, find, wait, if I can unlock, who? If I can unlock your chains, it so happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Polantris. Hi, Polantris. Ugh, oh, that jacket. Ah, my yellow dress. It's pretty. Did you do bad things? Some of my clothes to make shows. I don't feel like drawing right now. One blue sheet and one white. Okay, use these on chains. There we go. Oh, we've got a cat. Okay, hold on. Give me a second to readjust a little bit. We're gonna move this. We've 
got a key in the room. We're gonna pull up the cat cam. Get over here to OBS. Let's see, cat cam. Let's bring that up. Activate. Wait, deactivate. Activate. And let's fix that because I forgot I. so much friend you really have a lot of keys in there yes don't you oh friend before I forget Polantris told me that if we met someday I should give but I should give this to you here I think it'll help you open something all right the little golden box was having a hard time all the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to start that over, because what? Alright. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it's tears this time I take him once by the left ear and scream stop whining you little gold box press your eye again and the box will oh wait it opened the box okay so I uh, highly done I'm getting ready to oh um, remember that so let me get a picture getting a text from Mel. Her ass hurts. I'm gonna rip her. That's what you get for sitting down all day. Yeah, she, she's back working. Um, yeah. She, hey, maybe, maybe. I mean, I have corrupted her enough, so. <clears throat> Palantris, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Oh, kind of ADHD, real quick. There we go. I did an ADHD thing real quick, my little Velcro thing, because I used to tie my stuff up. I put on my plug on the other one that I used for my laptop charger. Alright. Palantris, you know him too? Wow, thank you. I might have already said that, but eh. Yes, he told me that if we met, you would already have... What, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. The nurse is... No, wait, the nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She's the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyways, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. So I think it's... 
okay, uh, b -b 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 I took a picture of this like a smart person. Alright, so, uh, press it by the ears first, twice on the left, once on the right. So it's one, two, one. Rub the eye. And then... And what should I do to open it? Hold on. So, is that not it? So it's... One, two. One. Two. Okay, hold on. Let me try. Maybe examine. Oh, wait. Hold on. One, two... One, one, two. I did it. So it was one, two, one, one, two, one, one. All right. Okay, Maduka, Maduka, wake up, Mother Maduka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Valux is angry and shining too bright. Mother Maduka, wake up, wake up, and turn the child wait, turn up the child before the darkness ends. In the hands of the light, Maduka must wake up. Let's build the Ekok clock to make her cry. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light. She cried. Me, Maduka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Alright, empty case, working bulb, wake up clock, a bottle of water, bar of soap. Let me get a picture of this too. Sorry for bumping the mic, yo. Alright. And then, let's see. An empty case. Let me look in here for anything that I might need. Balloons in many colors. My lovely peach dress for summer days. The coat for when it's windy and cold. The summer dress that has a big bun. Just a regular scarf doing what regular scarves do. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. Hello, don't look at me like that. Right. I'll take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. My school case, I may need it. Uh, I don't believe you can hear the ocean in a show at all. My summer hat. It doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. A lot of candy in the jar. Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Ah, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. The fact that she looks like Alice in Wonderland kind of makes sense with this... Alice was supposed to be crazy. France is supposed to be crazy. Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina, yes, all in its place. The dog likes to read a lot, I know because I taught her. Um, I'm going 
to keep this little piano. Lovely, lovely melodies. Tesla, he likes to play with energy. Um, can I use this for that? There we go. Ah, a key. I better unlock something. Can I also use this right here? This is a big doll of my daddy, and I built it. Wait, daddy and I did the doll they built together. Alright, does this unlock that? It can't be done. Oh, it's already open. Alright. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I am somebody. I'm a somebody. You've seen a black cat? I haven't seen a black cat, but I do have a black thing eating in front of me. You alright? Eating from you? I think it's Kamala, you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well, I feel sad. I can help. this picture of me and Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Okay, so I've got the empty case. off but I already have. Alright, so we've got the empty case. Technicality the piano keys. What is this? I found myself hunting for the truth, but finding the unexpected but finding the unexpected. I found that what wait, I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that reveals silence in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently ninety two years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit I was never fond of jewelry, houses or clothing. Since childhood I always talked to animals, plants and insects, even though I never got a response. I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. Brr, hold on. Because you are looking for answers, maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to silence and become one with everything. Right here. Okay, that's 
try this one out here. Okay, that's what unlocks there. Inside the little house. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do about the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Oh, sorry. Roberto. Welcome to Maduka's Den. Maduka? Who is Maduka? You don't know who Maduka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Maduka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Maduka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Maduka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. There's a wild Pokemon in chat. There's a wild Pokemon in chat. A bell sprout. Your best balls to use are a feather ball, cipher ball, or a regular Pokeball. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remor was king here. Ah, Remor. The terrible black. The son of darkness. Hi Val, how are you doing? Welcome to the Corgi clan. I'm your chaotic ADHD Corgi. It's nice Chibi. Nice to meet you. Let me redo that. Welcome to the Corgi Den. I'm your chaotic ADHD ch Corgi Chibi. For thank you very much for popping in. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, Remor. The terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Not right off the bat. thing that's coming to mind right now is my friend Vaccine. Her actual, no, I know she, her actual name is Val. I'm not sure what the full name is, but other than that, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm very bad with names a lot of the time. Uh, but, uh, you should go now. I said enough. Okay, yeah, I said that already. Uh, Alright, uh, I'll be back later anyway. Uh, I must get your friend's key. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm not big into Valorant, so. Like, literally, the closest thing I've seen, with I've like, gotten to playing Valorant, is literally seeing, like, trailers and whatnot. That's about it. Yeah, no, with me, I like FPS games, but it's just Valorant was one that I never bothered looking into or anything. Or, like, even bothering to try and look up gameplay. I've seen trailers on YouTube, and that's about it. 
My, for me, FPSs, I usually stick to Apex right now. Um, I have the first Descendant, but that's not, I, I don't know if that's fully an FPS. I just fully stay away from Fortnite because I just. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? This bitch is giving real Cassandra vibes right now. <laughs> Moisturize me! And yeah, I, I know to read the book in the inventory. I've played this game before. It just it's gonna take me a minute to really remember everything. Yeah, no, like I was saying earlier, John, the only Val that I can think of literally is my friend Vaccine, whose IRL name is Val. That that's the only Val that I can think of. <laughs> that's why I was saying that username doesn't, you know, ring a bell. I am Okola, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Yeah, this is definitely full on Cassandra from Doctor Who. Moisturize me. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. Oh, yeah, quite well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything. Can, oh, I got hiccups. Uh, it doesn't want to come out. Mel is asking a question that there's already an answer for. <laughs> uh, she's complaining. She asks also a legit question. Why do they make so many colors of each color? M Mel, do you not know how nature works, ma'am? <laughs> Hun. Hun. Nature. Nature. That's your answer. Can you see my cat? Your cat. How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? A queen? A princess? Yeah, that's what I was doing your nature, because that's legit how nature works. You can have just naturally grown things in so many various shades of orange. And what a lot of people, what a lot of people do not know is that brown, brown is in technicality orange because if you go to orange and you start darkening it up it will start turning brown yeah no i don't own him but we have a relationship we're friends Friends, how lovely. Yes, but I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Maduka's den underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, the fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Maduka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm Fran, by the way. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, brush. The golden snake. Okay, can I do anything with these? The eyes are looking around. So I can do with that. So that's the container, the empty container, that last thing I marked off, which I honestly forgot what it was, let's see, the working bulb. Alright, here you go, you can have your lights back on, okay? Do I have any more keys? Okay, hold on. Okay, no, I don't think I have to w get out of that. Um. Okay, the key to room 103 is over there. Um, let me come talk to this guy real quick. I'm not done, mother! I'll take another bath after this one. Because I stink. Who told you that? Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is the smell we're talking about? I stink like most un the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want the soap, dude. God damn it, John. <laughs> uh, that was gonna be stuck in my head. <laughs> Cause I could, why could I hear that right now? Why could I legit hear it? No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. It's just like I can legit actually phys physically. Audibly is the word. I can legit audibly hear that right now in my head, and it's just great. It's hilarious. The fact that I know that man that well to be able to hear his voice saying the things. It's just great. Soap. Are you having troubles with your hygiene? I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Okay. Alright. Terrible problems. Yes. Yes, terrible problems with my hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Alright. Okay. So now, let's see. Hey, Jahakasa, my day's going good. How's yours doing? Doing? Going. <laughs> I know how to English. Not always, but I know how to do it. Here, let's get... Shut up, go. If that heart at the top of y'all's chat is empty, go fill that up for me. Jahakas also an awesome guy. Ver I'm not sure if you're a variety streamer, but he's a streamer. <laughs> sea of Thieves. Pirate Man. There's your introduction. <laughs> okay. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children. That's my like so. Oh, hold on. Let me get a better angle. 
on, on the cat cam. There y'all go. Huh. I heard Patrick's on board. I need to look into that because I don't. As, as many times as I've heard Project Zomboid or seen the name, I have yet to see gameplay. Uh, they eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. Also, I just noticed a freaking meteor going by in the background. Why did I? Hold on. Why did I never notice the goddamn meteors going off in the background? Excuse me. I've never noticed that before. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Okay, so now I just need a clock, bottle of water, which I see the bottle over there. Bottle over there. I think I can use that black cord for the black wire. Let's see. Wake up clock, bottle of water, glove, black wire. Believe that bottle over there and that black wire hooked up to the machine next to it is what I will be able to use. Um. Can I use this on him to get that key out? H wait, hold on. Can I do this? I'm clever enough to find something. Wait, find another solution. Um, crayon? Negative. Blue. Okay. back over here then oh I can pull this okay all right okay all right that's how I get to over here seems it won't budge insert button okay so I'm gonna need to find a button to put up in there but first let me at least go get the bottle of Sunday at the park. <laughs> Hello, happy monkey. Oh, I think it I disconnected the machine. It has no power now. Oh, well, okay, hold on. Let's plug... Let's connect this back then. Um... Uh, I think I should be able to find a button somewhere in here. His painting. Blue's good, do we can do? Alright, 
pliers to get the thing out of the guy's mouth. And now we can take the wire, because I need the wire. Okay, and then we go here, we're coming out. And then, I think, wait, are they in here? Yes, you're right there. So, use this on him. Take the key, that's for door 103. What you mean, won't work? Oh, that's why, because it goes this way. Oh, hi. A wake up clock, perfect. Hmm. It's tightly tied. Uh. Alright, so that's the clock and the wire. You need to fill up the bowl. Oh, there's the glove over there, actually. just need to fill this bottle up with water. Which, can I do that over here with... The, oh, I can do that right here, actually. So, let's turn this off. Okay, combine. No. Combine this there. I don't... I can't do that. Okay, alright. Hold on. Examine. Maduka, Maduka, wake up, Mother Maduka. The horn child is playing with the light. The velvet glove. Eh. Can I click, click, click the? All right. Uh huh. Oh wait, can I get in this? this one. Of course she is. That's Mel. Because she's telling me to go look at it. Mel's just telling me to go look at a goddamn picture. The thing, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, there's more shades of pink than that. No, 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 there's so many shades of pink and shit out there. Where'd the cat go? Yeah, in, in total, though, there's, like, so many, like, in total, like, aside from the paper, in total of shades of pink, I'm pretty sure there's a lot. Well, let me Google, just real quick, how many there are. 
how many shades of pink are wait how many shades of pink exist there we go <clears throat> okay as of July 2023 there are in total 55 different shades of pink Just because you had me curious with the red one, with the red comment you made. Uh, da, 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 da. 100 plus shades of red. Okay, okay. In total, there is 134 shades of red. I texted that to Mel, sexed Mel, the thing that I found. As of June 2023, there's a total of 55 for pink in general. She's like, just pink? With like a bunch of freaking question marks. And I had to freaking tell her about red. 134 different shades of red, bruh. Oh, that actually has me curious. How many of them are my favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Ooh, 140 for purple. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. Just let me take the key. Yeah, only. There's more bound to be more to coming to its existence. Yeah, that part. That that's why I said only. Because there could be, you know, like I said, some that's gonna end up coming further in the future, or there could be that some that just aren't listed for, you know, the researchers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. You stuck? How disappointing. I have a question for you. You stuck to the tree? I'm fully attached to it. Why do you ask? <laughs> just curious. See you later. Okay. That must be the key to 100. And Okay, um, wait, do Oh, wait, I can use this on you, huh? You want to try it? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? Yeah, she just sent me that same thing. <laughs> John, DM, go, DM me on Discord. Give me your number. We're going to do a group chat with Mo. Okay. Well, it, wait, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright. 
Let's try it. Which, if you want to give your cell number, that's up to you. If you want to give a house number, hey, whichever one you're up for. Actually, wait, hold on, wait. I don't think the plus one matters. For calling international, I don't think it really matters with the plus one. I, I only thing I think you need to worry about is the area code, or if it's um UK with their with the way their phone numbers work. But outside of the UK, I think it's you can just type in the number you know five one zero blah 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 as long as you you know include all necessary numbers in there. I don't think the plus one is needed. Cause help me, I've tried with the plus one before and it would not work. All right, just promise me you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. I don't, well, actually I was getting ready to say, well it's a little 10 year old kid, so of course she's gonna be gentle. But there are kids younger than that that are like, huh. Cause like, bro, that death grip on babies though. It worked! What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lesferian. All Lesferians I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Ken. Well, Toasty Games, but Cinnamon Toast Ken just went live on YouTube. Uh, I feel like I need to fly away. Go right ahead. But I still can't reach it from here. What do I do? Um. Can I, like, lasso it? <laughs> I know, probably I can't, but eh, it's an option. Eh. Yeah, she'd 100% die. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. Can I open the back of the giant cat? Wait, do I put something in there? Can I? I'm pretty sure there's more than a hundred, yeah, this is beyond more than a hundred of gray. 
I'm pretty sure there's at least 200 of that. Okay, yeah, no, I just Google it as well. The, um, oh. Okay, so I found two things as far as that. So the first one I found was the same number that you gave, the 256. And it says, if you mean how many shades of gray can the human eye distinguish, it's still about 254 shades of gray plus black and white for a total of 256. Uh, I'm going to read all three things that I found on here. Uh, humans don't interpret gray tones very well. The human visual system perceives approximately 32 shades. But in, and then this third thing right here that I am finding, it says, in real life, the human eye can distinguish more than 500 shades of gray. So there are in actuality, 500 shades but the human eye can only determine about 200 plus of them yeah big time well i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to send her a voice message this hold on i'm gonna mute my mic I'm gonna be Mike Mike and send her a voice message. Hold on. I apparently fucking muted both my actual mic and my mic on Discord. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Not on Discord. On OBS. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the freaking game. Um, I need to figure out how to get this. Maybe put these in here. Okay. Um, let me see if there's maybe anything in here that I can maybe walk across. Can 
I stay there? Plywood? Um, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a hat right there. Can I do anything with that? It what forgot his hat. Maybe... Maybe the hat forgot his hat. for a little help across that or on that. I hope you find your cat Fritz soon. I still see him in that cage. Dead skulls on the wall. Can I not talk to you anymore? Well, the tooth fairy already took all of my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? What are you looking at? Intrusive thoughts. Wait, hold on. I had, wait, hold on. Wrong, wait, no, right way, right way, right way, right way. I just had a thought. Turn that on. This way, elevator. Oh wait, that's what I was coming over here to do. Turn off that since she left.
get to the window in room 101. Okay, let's go back to 100 for a bit. I'm following this is something that I found. Gotta get to the window in 101. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot about. Oh, wait, I forgot about the freaking Kamala. feel sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. There. A piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. There is a wild Pokemon in chat for you. Uh, best balls to use or a great ball and a light ball. Sweaties. Okay. Now, that means I can go over here. Get my butt up in the elevator, go back up and use the stick. scare me a bit. So, let's use... Wake you, Mother Maduka, but I need a favor. Can someone tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Always chunkless. will have to end before I get rid of mine. I need some this bag of bitch. violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find the, beneath the ground the trust you seek. Thank you. But 
what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, do you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Tharakos. Oh, that's where your name came from, but... <laughs> from the Premve... Wait, from Premve taught us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding them. From the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. Something obscure happened to you? I think Rimori killed my parents, Mother Maduka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Frango. I am everything sinister, all of darkness you can imagine. Oh, all of the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remore killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious to know the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. body is made of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my needy needle, eh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are, are you the dead nurse I saw at Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, eh? You little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait your turn in the but Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Seven. Ugh, I wonder how long I have to wait now. Wait, how long I have to wait? I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Hmm. I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two. So, must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, excuse me everyone. But is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R.I. Uh, has been blinded. I have a broken horn, you see. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Wait, I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Oh, because that, that's your job to... Alright, thank you. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't... Wait, I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know. Do you feel pain anywhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. 
Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough, it's impossible to t talk sense in with any of them. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it at all. You've only known us a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. That's true, but I, it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do? That's on common sense, doesn't it? Wait, sense do that on common sense. It helps to understand. We understand each other very well with our uncommon sense in it. Yes, we do. We actually do. We do respect differences. Who sees all of them? Hmm, but who is the one that sees all of them? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Uh, now I want. Now I want to wait because talking won't make waiting go faster. All right. Thank you for nothing. So I think I have to go. Can I go in here? Or is this? It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Alright, so I think what I need to do is go. I think you're right here. possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. Uh, what if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure. If I'm still here when you come back. Alright. So then I would go that way, that way, over to 104. Hey, but I need your help. Mm. Uh, excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? All right, patient troubles. Can you tell me what the illness of the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He is in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm. Let me see. Ah, I see him. But. From what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Well, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can until you fill this bottle will do. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. Well, that won't be a problem. I'm very prob- what? I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Maduka said I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so he can go back to eat Thurston and be happy. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. Mm, the bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your tickets. Now go. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Alrighty. Room 103. Back down the heart hole. Alright. Use tears on you. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Ah, 
trying to poison me. Haha, <laughs> how lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest el elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more! Give me more! No! You... No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, here you go. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Thank you, I guess. Hmm, number two. So you use... Hello, patient number two. We're doing... Wait, we're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. You don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just can't want to find it. The lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. <laughs> lucky? But how can I get an appointment, then? But how do I get an appointment, then? Ah, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? Why don't you make why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I am waiting for you to call me. Ugh, oh, alright, I'll go make the call then. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, all right! <laughs> it's enough slices! Okay. Alright, hello, patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through that door to your right. Alright, thank you. Oh, hello, sir. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You are quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Hi, Remor. You haven't chose to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remor, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try and act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do with Dr. Deere? I am I immensely enjoy seeing you your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifest manifestations wait wait, manifestation of my desire. I can use you for whatever I want. Are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, 
why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. <sighs> no, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. And it wasn't me. Stop it, please. No, friend, it wasn't you. It was him. He just used your body. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little creature must suffer and die before becoming a star. monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Mr. Kitty and leave. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? Okay, Mr. Midnight. Let's go up to Mr. Midnight. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me. <laughs> talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirster, my darling. Pelotris can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. <coughs> oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Uh, kitty, okay. Hello, what's your? Uh, I don't need this. Oh, okay, so just... You're just leave. Steal the net. Maybe this will wake him up. Ooh, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Deer. It's me, Fran. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bowser, from the Oswald 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 Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. You must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright. It wasn't a monster at all. Just help. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Ugh, but I did. I told you she's a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound l just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great, great job. His powers of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so cool.
calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why is he hunting me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come, let's go now. Where she just and just catch right off the edge. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant for you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take very good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try and it looks a little bleh. You must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. You know, why don't you just tackle this bitch over the fucking edge, huh? But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? Yourself. I hate you! Stop it, Fran! Help! Help! No one help! No one help! No one help! Please help! Don't you dare touch Grace. Oh, that gave him something worse than I forgot what it was already. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness. She's totally insane. Mm, no, she's not the insane one. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Deer. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child. The white brain. Right. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Huh? 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 There's this motherfucker over here. Yeet! Oh, Fran. Everything will be fine. Hi, Itwer. Who, who, who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Well, yeah, no, obviously. Obviously. Ectobro ectoprote parontres monochrist. Grexka, it 
work, I found. Oh my goodness. Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Little Fran must be killed. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Maduka, you took the child's innocence. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in the darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. There's a wild go goat in chat. Wild Pokemon in chat. A heel ball or a great ball. Ah, what happened? Edward? Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? How? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, you must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Deer? Look, it's Edward and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Do you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Maduka now. We really must leave now. But, can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But we can do- wait. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think no none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you, Palantris. Oi, neighbor, let's not. Good, good luck with your neighbor, John. Now, let's send Dr. Dean home. Marcel Dian Onam Fekba Sudelnisikto The words that are on the screen. Beat me up, Scotty. Goodbye, Dr. Dear. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. And I believe that's where the end credits start rolling. Oh, okay. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I chose happiness. I'm going to mute my mic to let the credits play through.
honestly was gonna let them play through, but now I'm just kind of... Oh, j damn. I can't. Alright. So I guess I have to let them play through, so I'm gonna mute myself again and just let them play through. I'm gonna go... Oh. I still have food right here, so I'm just gonna munch and let y'all watch the credits. That is the end of Fran Bo. So hey, let me real quick put on the just chatting screen. The cat's not right there, so I can. Oh no, hold on. Wrong. And I'm apparently getting ready to do. Let me just do a quick, quick BRB to go see what the hell fell. Okay, the falling over stuff, which is my mom knocking shit over with her clumsy self. Alright, since we finished Fran Bo, I'm kind of debating if I want to end here or try and find another game to play. Because, let's see, okay, hold on. First off, let me uninstall this. Install Fred Bo. I need to update Coral Island. How do I not have enough disk space?
Okay, seriously, how do I not have enough disk space for this game? What the hell? There should be fucking enough space for this. What the hell? Wait, hold on. Where the fuck is my... Where... Can you please hurry up and load settings? I'm trying to fucking check something. Okay, I am legit seeing nothing on here that I can even delete to make more room. Like, bruh. Okay. Okay, I can take Paleo off, because it's gonna be quite a fucking while before I even play that shit again. And honestly, that right there, Paleo, might do it. Okay, so hopefully deleting Paleo or uninstalling Paleo off of here will let me update Coral Island and it looks like it's working. Okay, so let me okay. Let me see how long this update is gonna take. It's already at twenty nine percent. Honestly, I don't think it's getting ready to take that long, actually. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Did my music freaking stop? Chuck's still playing. Open another fucking tab, Chrome, please? Thank you. That was really annoying. Oh, it freaking already updated before I can even get Chrome. Alright. It's a damn shame the game smarter and updated quicker than Chrome can actually fucking work correctly. Alright, so we are gonna Coral Island it up. Um, actually, you know what? We can end it here. So I'm not live for too long. Alright, so we are gonna go find someone to raid, actually. And our next stream will be on Thursday. Alright, looks like Jahakaso is live, so we can go raid. Um, raid him. Let me just bring up So we are gonna go raid Jahakaso, who was here earlier. Here's my raid message. He is at the moment playing. Oh. 
What is he playing? Okay. Jahakaso is at the moment playing. I forgot the name of the game that quick. Project Zomboid. Um, I'm not too sure of the stream or rating. So I'm gonna say please keep it PG-13. And I will see y'all next stream. Which, what's today? Today's Thursday, so next stream will be Monday. Unless I decide to do a stream between now and Monday. But, you know. Be prepared for the typical, the usual, the usual Monday. You're already in my Discord, John, so I'm not even going to bother with the Discord, but I'm going to at least the socials in case you want to go plop something on there. Alright. Because I think you're already in my Discord, right? Well, if you're not, the Discord's in the freaking social link. Alright, I will see you again Monday. Alright, go go have as much fun as you can with the cops. Hopefully it's not too much trouble. Bye John.